Hey guys, welcome to Animation Juice. My name is Richard and it is Tuesday. No, hang on, it's Thursday. That's right, we've changed the day of Quick Tip Tuesday to Quick Tip Thursday. Uh, it's the same great tips, just a different day. In this episode of Quick Tip Thursday, uh, I'm going to show you how to quickly add a shadow to your uh, characters, just to quickly uh, put a bit of lighting on. So, let's jump in. <laughs> Hi guys, so here we are in Photoshop and like I said, this is I just want to show you how you can quickly add a little bit of shadow to your character concepts to imply lighting. Uh, this is really helpful when you're in the concepting phase and everything is still quite rough and loose. Uh, adding a bit of shadow and implying the lighting uh, helps to describe the form of the character uh, more accurately to the audience or the client or the director. Uh, it adds another dimension and it adds just a lot of appeal to uh, those uh, early sketches. So what you need to do is, first of all, you need to have your character separated from the background. So you can see that I've got this uh, panda here separated from the background. Second thing that you need to do is you need to make a new layer and turn that layer to multiply in the uh, layer modes drop down and whack down the opacity to about I'm going to use 30% but it, it, it'll vary for, for character to character I like to use quite a low opacity ranging from between 30 and 50 in this example I'm going to use 30% what you then need to do is right click on that uh, new multiply layer and go down to create clipping mask and what that's going to do is anything that we paint on this multiply layer it's only going to show up um, based upon the opaque pixels on the layer below so it's, it's basically using the character as a mask for the painting on the multiply layer You'll, this will become quite clear in a second so now that you've, cre you've created the multiply layer and you've made that multiply layer a clipping mask of the layer below uh, what you need to do now is just grab a medium grey. I'm just going to eye drop this body grey of this panda here, just a medium grey. Um, and pick a, a, just a normal round brush. Make sure the opacity of the brush is 100%. And then just start painting in a bit of the shadow. Let's say our lighting is coming from our top left. Just paint in on the multiply layer just a bit of shadow where you think and based on the form of your character and put a little bit under the hat and you can see what this is doing is it's only painting allowing me to paint based on the opaque pixels of the uh, the character layer uh, see I'm painting up here on this uh, white space here but that is all transparent on the character layer and so it's not been shown so just paint in some shadow let's maybe that's all in shadow is quite big maybe there's a bit of shadow under his jumper you see I'm being quite rough with this and you can be quite rough with it um, you can see how really quickly so add a little bit of atmosphere, a little bit of uh, dimension to your character. It uh, quickly sh describes the form of the character quite well. Uh, and we've done it in 30 seconds. Uh, it's a really quick way to get a bit of lighting on. Now you'll see that when we unclip the mask, so if I right click on that uh, multiply layer and go release clipping mask, you'll see now that the uh, all of the areas that we painted that were transparent on the layer below now are shown and when we again create a clipping mask they disappear and only the uh, only the paint only the drawing that's rendered upon opaque pixels on the layer below are shown 
I hope that's clear. You because you'll see this is our character layer, and all of this is transparent around there. So when you create a clipping mask, none of these transparent pixels will show. Only the stuff that you paint on this opaque character area will show with a clipping mask. Um, so that is how you can quickly create a lighting, apply some lighting on your shadow by painting some shadow uh, using a clipping mask and a multiplier layer set to 30%, uh, just painting with uh, a medium grey. It's a really quick way to get some lighting and atmosphere into your characters, especially at the, the early concepting phase. Um, so that's it. I hope that was useful for you guys. It's a really quick way just to get a bit of shadow and imply some lighting on your character. I use it all of the time and uh, hopefully you'll find it useful enough to use as well. If you like this episode, make sure to let me know by leaving a like and a comment and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest videos as they come out. Until next week's Quick Tip Thursday, have a great week guys and I'll see you later.